welcome back students and in this lecture of mvc we are going to cover how to work on model views and a controllers i have told you about the last lecture that what is mvc okay i am telling again models m for models models is an application of data and behavior it is a classes and a functions and we can bind the data through adio.net and uh, view view is the user interface and basically the pages that uh, we have shown in our browser when we open or run our project and the controller is responsible to handle the request in a browser in hypertext transfer protocol http we further cover about uh, model views and controllers in future so let us start about the practical implementation okay i am going to create a first a controller okay and i am going to tell you about how to create the controller okay just go to the controller and right click and in right click go to add okay and go to controller okay look out either the short key is control shift a okay perfect go after that this is the short key of editing add controllers and just leave about all these things just use empty controller and write the name it first control okay perfect our con first controller has been created and we have a default function here okay now i am going to create a view for creating a view we have to create the function in a controller why because we have to add a functionality and add a database uh, in our view so we have to create the function of that particular view you can add the static html pages but if you want to create or use database to make it uh, dynamic so the standard way to create the view is to create the function through function okay so just i am copying it and just name it what you want first view okay for creating the view just right click it and add go to add view after that just use empty just leave these things and just click add okay okay our view has been created okay now i am not talk talking about the model right now okay if i told you that please write something on the on my view page so if i write here using h2 okay so i am writing this is my first view in mvc okay i'm just control save it and build the project one time how to build just use control shift b to build the project okay and just after complete this just use control f5 to run the project okay our project is running look out perfect our view has been shown this is my first mvc page and what is this this is basically when you want to jump in any e view so you have to write first the name of controller and the name of the view okay now the thing is that if you want to show your view on a navigation bar so how can you add this so just go to the project and in a project go to the shared in shared go to layout okay in a layout look out there is a list but it is quite difficult so if you want to add your view on navigation bar just co i am copying it and i paste it here okay 
ओके नफेक्ट द फर्स्ट थिंग इज राइट द नेम दैट विच नेम यू वॉन्ट आई वॉन्ट टू मेक द नेम माई फर्स्ट व्यू ओके एंड देन राइट द फंक्शन नेम दैट यू हैव सेट आई एम कॉपिंग दिस एंड इन ले आउट एंड आई पेस्ट इड यर आफ्टर दैट यूज द कंट्रोलर नेम ओके इन फर्स्ट कंट्रोलर जस्ट यूज दिस नॉट यूज कंप्लीट फर्स्ट कंट्रोलर जस्ट राइट द कॉपी फर्स्ट नेम एंड जस्ट पेस्ट टू डेयर ओके दैन कंट्रोल एस गो टू योर वेब ब्राउजर जस्ट रिफ्रेश दिस पेज ओके लुक आउट पर फेप आवर पेज हैज बीन सेट ओके आई थिंक दिज अ प्रॉब्लम इट इज नॉट सेटेड ओके सो वी हैव अ मिस्टेक हेयर wait a minute just copy this again and go to the layout and just save it control s it control f5 okay it is now it is okay okay so after that if i told you about to pass the data and write the data on a view through the function or through the controller so how can you pass the data through functions in our view so we have a method we have a three different method but the main common method is used is the view back if i write here in our project that is view back view back and after that press dot and write any any word that you want equals to the is my first project okay just use terminator and after that just copy this and go to your view i am just removing it and in a h2 I just use at the red sign and I paste it here and I just save it and I use and I just refresh it. Okay, perfect. This is how can you send the data through the view back in our page. Okay. Sorry, I did not didn't save it. My controller. This is my first project. Just go to here and just refresh the page. Look out, perfect. For this, you can pass the data through the viewer. Now I am to I am telling about you. If I want to show the list of customers through functions. so how can i do this i am going to add a list here in a list list i use a string and li i am creating the object of list and after that i am using here this okay and in this i am using li dot add put the name here salman okay li dot add wait uh, i think there is little bit problem okay wait just remove this Then just use terminator here. Okay, and just use li dot add ali. Okay, just use 
and now just pass this this li in your list okay you have passed this particular list okay so after that passing this li to the view or you can add through the view back and you stored this particular view back on the through you can use view back dot name equals to equals to i okay yeah so how you can pass this okay okay now perfect if i told you about that just go to your view control shift b first perfect our, our project has been built okay after that just remove this and just use here table table and in table i am using tr and td in td i am creating a for each loop at the rate for double tab okay just remove this and just use here view back sorry i'm just copying this just copy this control v control c control v control v and in in this just use td td tr use at the rate item okay and just save it and just go to the browser and just refresh this and look what the effect look out perfect our list of cust customers has been added i have added salman and i have added ali okay so that i have added in my function okay this is how can you pass the data okay just go to the quickly if i told you about how to work and how to pass data through the models and how to create the models okay so just right click on the models go to add and add the class here first in a class i name it names okay in a names i am going to add two properties for adding the property just use prop and double tap okay integer and id and the second is prop prop double tap string string name just don't forget to build the built it okay and just go to the controller and instead of string i am using the class here what the class is for using the class you have to add here using views dot model just if you want to use the model in this i am using to i am using my model names and i here also i am using model is that is names and after that i am using this and in this i am removing this particular thing and after that i am using li uh new names equals to id equals to 1 comma name equals to salman S C L M N. Okay, it's the same like that. I'm just copying it, and I just paste it. I D two. I D two and name is Ali. And just use this L I and pass this L I to it to the view. Do not use view back. We don't need to. use the view back after that just go to the view and just before 
working on the before you are working uh, on the models you have to add the line here if you are working on a model use at the rate using models at the rate models rate using views views dot models dot which model you are using names okay you have to add the i enumerable here what is i enumerable i will teach you in my future lectures okay so do not don't worry about it okay use view i enumerable okay after that in a for each loop just remove this okay and create the for each loop just uh, use the for go to the for double tab here and use a instead using collection use the here model model and the use item dot after that do not use item use the item dot sorry item dot id sorry just remove this parenthesis at the rate item dot id lookout and same like that at the rate item dot name perfect just control save it and just rebuild the project again after that rebuilding your project go to website and just refresh it look out perfect id 1 salman and id 2 is ali that's how you can use the model to pass data from functions to views okay that's all for today thank you very much